I'm gonna show you today how I use Pixieset to deliver my photos to clients such as H&M, Google, and many more. Let's jump into it. Now, once you've created a new collection, it's gonna ask you for the name, the event date, and if you want to watermark. Now, all of this will change depending who your client is and how you run your business. Did you watermark your photos before you show them to a client? So maybe they do their selects. I do recommend you put an event date just so you can keep track of when it happened, especially if you get reached out later in the future or so. It's easier to just keep everything organized. Now, I tend to not do watermarks anymore. I might switch it later. For now, let's not add a watermark and just create a collection. Now to add the photos, it's very, very simple. You can easily drag them onto this box and have them start uploading, or you can click on browse files, select the files that you choose to upload and go from there. Now, once you've uploaded all of these photos, I like to add sets in this H&M one to give you an example. Now, once you've imported all your photos into highlights, I actually go ahead and create different folders. For this one, again, all the photos are in highlights. I created a folder for 35 millimeter photos so people knew what was shot on film. And I created another folder for group photos so it'd be easier for people to find that one group photo that they were in. But you have the capabilities of emailing the gallery with the pin through Pixie Set, or you can take the links, attach them to your personalized email or text them to your client if you're that close with them. Now, people seem to be annoyed that Pixie Set was apparently adding some form of compression to your photos. And I actually replied that I've never had any issues with this. And there was some confusion there. But my main point and what I was arguing is I never send anything bigger than a two megabyte file. You don't need anything bigger if it's going to go for socials, anything social or web use. That's more than enough. And even for some print. Now, that is a whole different conversation. But for general photo delivery, that is going to be digital. Pixie said makes it so much easier to use and you can even start using it for free. Of course, I will include my link down in the description. Really appreciate it if you guys use it. Now that's all I have for you guys today. This is a very simple way of delivering your photos to your client, but actually looking very, very good. And yes, there's some other details like changing the cover of the photo, but I would say play with the software. Don't just go word for word, start playing with it and seeing how and what other benefits it has for yourself. I wanted to make this as simple as possible. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. Do let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll see you guys on the next video.